Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon to get notified of any further content and also to support me on Patreon. It's one dollar and uh, this link will be left in the subscription below. Good morning guys and welcome back to the retro hour and today we are looking at Warlock it was uh, released by Acclaim and it was released in 1994 on January the 1st now this was the last game that I bought for the Sega Genesis after this I actually built my very very first PC and I started playing PC games of which the very first PC game I ever played was Phantasmagoria which I might show you guys later on. So, this is Warlock. It was a Sega Genesis game. It was awesome for me at that time. When uh, the game came out, I thought, yeah, these graphics are excellent. You've never seen a character with a jacket that blows in the wind and all that. So that was the first time I ever saw that in game graphics. Without any further ado, let's watch Warlock. Okay, let's see what they say here. Once every millennium, when the sun aligns with the moon, druid guardians summon the magic of their sacred runestones to prevent the rebirth of the ancient warlock. Look at that graphics, man. Six sacred stones is scattered through time and across the continents. Using powers inherited from your druid ancestors, you must defeat the warlock. Blah 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 blah. This was more based on the Warlock 3 movies. Warlock number 3, I think. They used the rune stones and the druids, if I can remember correctly. This is our most desperate hour. Find the stones and destroy the warlock, or all will be lost. Okay, straight forward. A, B, C. You can shoot, you can jump. You've got this orb that you can use to get stuff that's further away from you. Some of the creatures can hurt you. Not all of them, but some of them can. And then look at the portrait on top where your face is. As you get damaged, the face turns into a skull. And obviously when it's a total skull, you die. You also get magic potions and you get magic spells that you can use to protect yourself. Yeah, let's get this. There's two bats under the roof. So watch out for this bat. Yeah, dodge it. You have to watch out for some magic from the warlock side. Changing dogs into like werewolves. Ah, sorry, these controls are messing around. I'm actually trying to move forward, not roll all over the place. That's an extra life, or oh, it probably will heal you fully. Evil librarians. See, told you. Evil librarians. Changing the guys into like uh, a zombie or undead creature.
lots of healing potions at least. This specific level, uh, you see the lift, it only moved up two spaces at a time. So you have to find the lever that will activate the third level. But it's also a good practice just to go through the entire level, pick up what you can pick up. And uh, also the guys like to, in those days, they like to hide secret rooms on the edges. So sometimes you have to get to the edge to see if you can actually enter. Because you won't see the, the extra room until the screen moves totally to the left or to the right. In the face. So now you won't be able to jump over it because it's further, you have to actually wait for the lift. And there we go. Another potion. Luckily he went down. I think these guys can just barely touch you and you will lose life. I think I have to heal my face after this one. Doing it wrong. I'm brave. I'm not gonna heal my face now. Uh uh, let's get some more punishment. Yeah, let's do some healing. Fix up the little face. I uh, like as one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six turns you have to collect. There's six levels, and uh, actually you can finish this entire game just over an hour. There's the switch that we were looking for. I think it's like an hour and twenty minutes. You can actually finish this game. Those times those games practice made perfect. The longer you played it, the better you got at it. You can see I haven't played this game in a very, very long time. I'm making stupid mistakes that I probably wouldn't have made if I played it a bit longer. So most, of, most of these games that I show you guys is games that I've played like 20 years ago, man. It's, it's freaking long ago. So, forgive me if I don't know everything and don't see everything. But hey guys, you know, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And uh, leave a comment. Speak to me a bit. I, I want to know who you guys are. Ask me some questions. Maybe you want to see something different. Anyway, till next time guys. Cheers.